Hey, welcome back to Fixing Things. On this episode of Fixing Things, we're working back on the Mihal truck. Yes, finally. And I had a lot of people, a lot of people saying what I should do with my truck. Now, so that means people are interested in my truck and people are saying I gotta get back on my truck and I need to get back on my truck. So a lot of people were asking me what I should do with the space in between the cab and the bed. Some people say I should get another bed to do that and I really, really thought about that. And then I thought about, you know, self, what would be really nice is that if I had a, an area where so I could go to a place and, and they can put a pallet right on there. And that was one of my ideas, building a little flatbed right here. And now my son got me, my son, my son, he got me all these toolboxes. And yesterday he brought me another one. This is a four foot long big jumbo box. I mean, this is nice. So in his place, they don't fix boxes and stuff. They replace them. They get cracks and stuff like that in them. The, the weak metal gets fatigued. But me, I fix stuff. That's what I do. So this has big heavy hinges on the bottom. Well, I just weld some new big heavy hinges on it. So the hinges are kaput. <laughs> so I got these four boxes up here. This beautiful, this big box is heavy duty. This isn't light duty. This has got some thick gauge steel in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount the boxes underneath the frame. It's going to give me room to uh, install a decking where I can put palletized stuff right on top. We're gonna rebuild this frame because I I built it for some, some other thing I had in mind. So we're gonna rebuild this frame to where it comes out right here-ish, I think. I don't know. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play on this side, I'm gonna play it ad libit on that side, I'm gonna make it go around the fuel tank and back towards the other side. So in this episode of Fixing Things, we're working on the Mihal truck and we're gonna do something with this area right here. And I wanna get all this stuff done and fabricated so that I can take it apart and paint it. So I can drive it because I'm going to Kentucky in this thing. Pulling the trailer, pulling the Pinto. That is the game plan. And I got some other car shows and stuff coming up. I want to get ready for that. I mean, the meat haul truck is ready to go. It starts right up. It runs. It runs good. It wants to go. So, first thing we're going to do is I got to go get some, some big pieces of steel that are out back. I'm gonna build uh, this side of the truck slightly different than that side because that side has got the fuel tank. And I wanna leave that tank exposed because I wanna weld some, when I do the repair on the tank, I'm gonna uh, weld some steps on the tank. <clears throat> but this side, I'm gonna have these three boxes which end up being six foot. So what I'm thinning is, Starting at the edge of the tank, the profile will be the same. And they should come, six foot will come all the way to about right here. I think that's going to leave a, a real nice profile underneath here. All the same color as the Mihal truck, Mihal orange. So these are going to get painted. The black one's going to get painted. You may not paint them today, but we're going to get, we're going to get this fabricated and we'll get the other side fabricated. So I brought in a, a piece of my two by three, uh, looks like about 24 to 30 foot long 
metal. I got another one on the other side if I need more. So we're gonna come out to where this one here is, which is 17 inches off the old edge of the frame. So we need to come off 17 inches here and weld on a piece. Now I know that's gonna that's gonna make it seem like not very tight, not very good. But we'll, we're gonna fabricate it, we're gonna weld it all up good. If you weld good enough, I'm not saying I'm gonna weld it good enough, but there's not gonna be no weight on this end of this anyways. So it'll have the decking boards come out, it's gonna wrap around. I wanna leave this mounted on the frame like it is. Uh, we're gonna lift this off later and we're gonna put rubber strapping underneath it. So I wanna make sure I notch out from my thing. I could lay it on top. I may I may do that, I may lay it on top of my, you know something, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay this on top of my decking boards and bolt it down through into the metal. You shouldn't do that, Pastor Bill. That's what I'm gonna do. So the first one I gotta measure is this piece here. And I have another extension. And what I'll do is I'll extend this one out to that 17 inch mark. I got some old framing off of the old bed. Maybe I even have some laying the ground so I don't mess up that beautiful piece of junk. So I don't mess up this beautiful piece of junk. I'll try to use some metal that's on the other side over there, some scraps. I know that this piece is going to be six foot, exactly six foot. So I'll need to cut two pieces exactly six foot. Maybe I can slide this across through here and I should use my, my new saw. But my new saw is all the way inside the thing and I don't want to reel it out here and then put all the weight on this and when I can just take the cutoff wheel and cut it right here. That's, so that's, that's what I'm gonna do. And it is a beautiful day. Yesterday we had the eclipse. I got some good pictures of that. Uh, the Lord just blessed me with a beautiful day to get some outside work done on the Mihal truck. I was going to do the interior, and I thought, you know something? This is just too beautiful of a day. And everyone's been asking me. I was going to get on the Mihal truck. Oh, gosh, it's heavy. Everyone's been saying, Pastor Ben, you got to get back on that Mihal truck. We want to see Mihal truck. Mihal truck. Mihal truck. So I need to cut a six foot piece right here for this. I want to get my long ones cut first and I need something else for that side. Maybe that side I'll cut on that side and this side I'll cut on this side and go over there and cut that side first. And now I can measure from here. It needs to be Forty-six. Remember that. Forty-six. So we're going to cut forty-six off of this one. That'll be here. And on that side, it'll be six foot. Forty-six. I need to get sharpies, squares, power cords, welder, get all that stuff out here. Forty-six. Alright, 
six foot. All right, so I, I got my six foot piece up here. I got it strapped into place. I got my 17 inch spacing. I cut this piece wrong and I had to cut it again. So now I may have to get into my other piece of metal. Measure twice, cut once. All right, so I'm ready to clean up this piece flat, but I got it supported by a piece of scrap metal from the old bumper. And I got the other one supported by this, which should bring this level with this once I get this tacked. So I'm gonna take my flapper disc, clean that up, and we're gonna put a couple, a couple good wells on it right there. Protect the old ojos. All right. Just like that. Just grind it up. Twist it a little bit. So I'm using some C channel on this outside. I'm going to wrap it on the edge and on the edge here. And I'm going to notch cut it so when you have the leading edge, you're not going to see a, a big hole here. Doing sketchy
All right, we're down on the other side now. And I marked the one that goes back here, the same length as this one. Now we're gonna cut this the exact same length as this. That way we can weld our piece onto here and we'll strap it and get it the right height. But let's go ahead and cut this thing. All right, I got this pretty squared up right here where I want it. I'm gonna tack it right here where, I, where it's level. And then I'm gonna pull this end up and get my piece in here. I can also tack this one on the end. So let me get that done. I see it coming together. Now we just gotta attach it over here, make our thing right here, weld it all up and start uh, laying our decking boards down. All right, I'm gonna notch cut this where it goes over this piece so it covers up this end. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be cut, 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 cut. We're going to leave the flap on it. All right, I got the, all the stuff off. It's, it's all almost all welded up. I missed this spot right here, but I got to put a piece of metal 
I'm going to take the tank off, or at least move the tank around as I'm doing it. I should make it loose now. Yep. I remember the fuel line still hooked up to it. But I think we can cut our boards now and uh, start laying them out. So the platform of the... I'm pretty sure I can cut all my boards six foot. And it's also six foot this way. Yep. So at six foot, <clears throat> each board is five and a half inches. So I say six inches. We got every foot is two boards. So we got one, two, all the way to six. That'd be 12 boards. If I cut them all in half. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one board extra. So I'm going to attempt to elevate the, the tank higher than these boards so I can slide them underneath. I put all the boards in the way to do the other side, so now I gotta move the boards. All right, now that I got some boards underneath the fuel tank, and my fuel line still looks okay. I didn't unhook it. Uh, we need to shift the boards around and get them square so my reveal is right. other board and drive it over I need a big hammer. Instead of the 32, let's go 
with the 10 pound. All right, that man, I got all the decking boards down, except for the two end pieces, which I got to cut. I think we'll go ahead and slide this tank back in its place. getting dark. I think we'll rip this board, rip that other board. Few more screws. Oh man, I'm beat. Few more screws. I gotta pick up all this trash.
All right, that's going to be it. It's getting dark, but I'm not done. So, man, I'm tired. <laughs> Look at my face. I got all kinds of dirt on it. Uh, I don't know. Should I end this video and pick up another one next week and get these boxes on? Yeah, that's probably what I should do. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode of Fixing Things. We got the deck put on. We got the um, fabricated the, the, the deck. We got a spot left for the steps to come up into it. And it's tough. It's built good. It ain't, it ain't going nowhere. Oh, man, I'm tired. It's dark out here. It's amazing how the camera doesn't doesn't make it look as dark as it is. It, it's dark. I hope I can find all my tools. Hey, God bless each and every one of you. On the next episode of Fixing Things with Pastor Bill, we're going to install these boxes uh, up underneath this trailer. That's what we're going to be doing. I still got to move the Mehal truck out in case my wife wants to ride the motorcycles to work. Man, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> God bless you. Remember, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'll see you next week on Fixing Things with Pastor Bill. Man, I, I got to clean up this mess. Oh, oh my back. <laughs> That thing looks good. That looks good. I'm glad. I'm glad I went with this and that. Oh, yeah, it's going to look good. Oh. I was going to put a hood on it, and I was going to put in some more sides. And I said, you know, man, if I got to put a pallet of stuff and some pallets and stuff, it would be easy to slide a pallet right on here, right? That's right. Good decision, Pastor Bill.